Hi there, my name is Sandy Zimmer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this sweet layout with the daisies and just some fun techniques to create this. I had created some cards earlier, there you see them, and there was many requests on how to make them, so I thought I would show you. So I am using the Friendship Daisy stamp set as well as the Lucky to Know You stamp set, just as I had in the original cards. And these are the gold paint pens. They come in 0.7 millimeters, four millimeters, and three millimeters. And the reason I'm showing you these is because the sheet that I'm starting to work on here, this 12 by 12 piece of white daisy, um, I had created these lines by just going around some pieces of paper that I was using in different layouts with the gold marker. And then this was what was left on my 12 by 12. And I thought, I just cannot let that beautiful gold shimmer go to waste. So I'm going to flip it on its side here and we're going to create the layout over top of that. So there's that daisy stamp set. I have a four by six photo placeholder and a four by four. And so I've just kind of laid them out where I think I'm gonna want them to go. I'm just drawing a little quick pencil outline just so that I'm not stamping unnecessarily all over the place. And here I am just pulling out my stamp sets. I've got my intense black ink there because I want to do some coloring with alcohol markers. And I've got my post-it notes there. So I'm just stamping on the post-it notes and I'm gonna use those stamps to create um, masks for my stamping that I'm going to do on this layout. So there you can see I've already cut them out. When you cut them out, you wanna cut right on the lines. You wanna make sure that you've got um, no extra border around them. So here I am, I'm just starting to stamp out my, my border around the edge here, just kind of randomly doing it. And then you'll see here that I'm putting that mask over top and I'm stamping over top of that. And I'm just doing three daisies in a row here. And then when I lift off that mask, it looks like those daisies that I stamped the second and third time are behind the first one. So I love the look of that. So there's a close up look of that. And I kind of go around and I do all the way around where I had sketched that my photos are going to go. So you'll just see me cover them up here and create those layers. And I just continue and go all the way around. So it's a super fun and you can sort of create your own thing, which is what I love about stamping. One of my favorite things to do is begin with a piece of white paper and then make it into something spectacular. And the more things that I can layer on there, the more exciting and interesting they become. So there again, I'm using that mask and I'm just adding those other little, little daisies. I didn't really need to put those masks on there for those ones, but that's okay. Then I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to put the stems on. This one, I kind of wanted it to go off at a different angle so that I added another piece of post-it there so that I wouldn't end up with the black on my paper, but you could have, and I eventually do, just grab a journaling pen and then sketch in my stems. I found that to be a little easier than playing around with the stamp set after a while. But um, I do go ahead and I stamp a few stems that come with that stamp set. And then I also do go in and I draw a few. So there's just a close up look of kind of my preliminary stamping. And now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna add some leaves. I wanted there to be a few more. When I did this video, for some reason, I wasn't great at um, having it centered in the right spot. So I apologize for that. Sometimes the video is up a little too high and you can't really see it, but I do pick it up and show you close ups as I go through here so that you can sort of see what I've done even if you didn't see me actually do it on camera. So here you'll see that I showed you the card there and I'm using the True Blue Blend. And what I'm doing is I'm going around all of these images with the medium. And so I just start by creating a little bit of an outline and then I make it a little thicker with that medium. 
So you wouldn't have to use blue for this necessarily. I just like the blues because I sort of felt like it kind of gave you that sky look in the background. And um, I kind of like blue too, so that helps a little bit, I guess. So I go around with the mediums here, as I say. And then once I've got that little bit of a line so that I'm not gonna go over my daisies, I just spread it out a little bit. I do it in a circular motion so that I don't get any streaked lines there. And uh, here I am just drawing in my other stems that I wanted. And I'm just using my black journaling pen for that. Just drawing those in. And now I'm going in with, so that's my dark. And I did do a little bit with the light. So I'm now going around with the light blend of that true blue blend and I'm going over what I've already done and then going a little wider and so what happens is that light one lightens up the medium color and uh, it just gives you a really nice blend and so it looks like it goes from a fairly dark to a medium to a light and uh, I just love how that looks so you'll just see me do that on a few more here and then I uh, finish up some of them off camera because I didn't want you to have to watch me do the entire sheet here of 12 by 12. So again the medium going around creating that um, sort of preliminary line and then you'll see here that I go a little bit wider and go around the leaves go around the flowers and everything there. I do have this sped up. I really don't color quite this quickly, but uh, it's nice on these videos to be able to speed it up so that you don't have to watch the slow motion of me doing everything there. So I decided that um, I was going to use Citrus Green Blend, pardon me, Citrus Green Blend, for the leaves. I use the gold brown blend for the middle of the flowers and then I use the ice gray blend for the actual daisies themselves. I always like to add a little bit of color where there is white. Um, it just helps to give it a little bit more definition as well. So there you go. You can see there is my true blue and I'm going around with the light now just to lighten that up a little bit and hopefully you can see the lighter and the medium and the dark there. So there's sort of a shot of all of it. Now just so you know where that gold paint pen is, the marker did not go over top of it, so the marker is layered behind it. So that's kind of good to know too. So here I'm using the dark end of that true blue blend and I'm just creating some dots just really randomly. Honestly, wherever my hand just happens to land, that's where I do it. And then there's a close up look. And then I also come in with the medium and add a few dots there just to create a little bit of variance in the colors. And again, you can add as much or as little as you want. The um, Friendship Daisy does have some dots on a little stamp set, but I liked being able to do it with the marker because it gave me a little bit more control over where they were going to go and how many dots I had. You could totally use the mask and then use that stamp if you wanted to as well. So this is where I'm using the citrus green blend and I'm coloring the leaves. So I'm using the medium for half the leaf where I would say is facing the light and then I'm using the dark for the other half. And I'm also going around those stem bases too, just to sort of show that, you know, it is the stem, but you can still see the black line of the stamp or my journaling pen there. So this is where I'm going through with the darker one here. It does go fairly quickly, but it is, it does take a little bit of time as well. So it's not something that you're going to finish in five minutes probably, but I think it's well worth the time invested in it. And the other thing is right here while, while I'm going over that gold paint, because they both are um, 
alcohol based. The markers will make that gold bleed a little bit. So I was careful to just kind of go in between those lines instead of really going over top of them very much. So just another thing to pay attention to there. So here I am going with my gold brown blend and I'm using that medium again for the top of the flowers where the light would be hitting. And then I'm using the dark for the bottom just to create a little bit more depth again in those flowers. All those different layers just add so much more. And these alcohol markers are so great, these tri-blends, because they've done all the hard work for you. They've already created those different shades for you so that you don't have to worry about doing it. Okay, so that's my finished up there. And now I'm going in with that um, ice gray blend. I started with the medium and then I was like, no, I wanna use the light. So I just kind of go around the outside of those a little bit and just here and there kind of thing you'll see when I pick it up exactly where I went and you can do as much of this or as little as you want I didn't want to fill in the whole flower I just kind of wanted to create a shade around those lines again that just creates a little bit of depth and as it dries it gets a little bit lighter which is nice too because it's not really bold but it it certainly helps to create sort of the the fold or the bend, I guess I should say, of the daisy petals. And I love that. And at the end of this video, I do post some stills as well so you can see them a little bit better. Again, I'm sped up here, so I didn't give you a very long peek, but I did give you a little bit of a peek. So there I'm using my journaling pen and I'm creating some dots again on those daisies, as well as where the other dots were. So again, just adding a little bit more depth there and just holding that up so you can have a good look of them all. So I had stamped on a piece of white paper some daisies and I colored those up off camera. And I wanted to use this Lucky to Know You just like I did in the card. So this is C1967 in case you're interested in that stamp set and uh, it's kind of that Irish blessing but I really like to stretch my stamp so I wanted to use that lucky to know you and I created a mask so that I wouldn't have that little shamrock shamrock on there and then in a moment here I'll just go in with my journaling pen and I'll just create that little swirl at the end there and you don't have to do that but I just liked the finished look of that kind of went with the beginning of that L, I guess and then again I'm just going in and I'm adding my dots around those words just so that it all goes together and again you can add as much or as little as you want going in with my journaling pen and adding some black dots so now I've created some mats you going with uh, four and a quarter by six and a quarter and four four and a quarter by four and a quarter and then those pieces, those daisies that I had cut out that you just saw, I'm layering them on a few of these daisies just to create another dimension again. And also where those gold paint pen marks are, I wanted some of those daisies to be in front of it rather than all of them behind. And some of these you can see here that I'm lifting up with dimensional adhesive as well. Creates another element and another layer and it also allows me to slide my photo underneath afterwards, which is really super fun. And I'm just going around and adding a few here and there. So you can see with using those masks and then using the dimensional adhesive and the layering, it really does create a lot of depth. And again, when you see the stills at the end, you'll really be able to see that. Of course, you can pause the video at any time and then have a close-up look as well. So there's just a quick peek of all of that. Now I'm using that 0.7 millimeter there, and I'm just adding a couple of dots where my other dots were, just to get a little bit more of that shimmer all over my page. I don't know how well it shows up, but in real life, it's pretty cool. And just in case you didn't get enough shimmer there, I like to use my 
diamond stickles and I'm just using those on sort of the bottoms of those middle parts of the flowers. And that just adds another little sparkle. I did that also on my cards there. That one card on the left there, I didn't do the dots in the middle of the flowers and the one on the right I did. So I just wanted to show you the difference there. And so again, I'm just showing you the stamp sets, the um, Friendship Daisy and the Lucky to Know You, showing you the markers that I used and there's the close up of the creation. So again, my name is Sandy Zimmer and I'm a close to my heart maker. If you're liking these products, I'd love it if you went to my website to order. That really helps me out. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more, please hit the bell and subscribe. You can also give it a thumbs up. That always makes me feel good. You can share it with your friends. I'd love for, the, for more people to see it. And leave me a sweet message if you uh, have anything to say. I love to always hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again.